Simplicity is the greatest sophistication. This is not said by me. It's said by Leonardo Da Vinci. And uh, something that I have to say is we have the Chalo India startup drive, which is an initiative by Avoda that turns simple ideas of today into something big tomorrow. And in front of us, we have here, uh, we've got Abel and Trilokesh, who are our latest addition to the Chalo India startup drive. And uh, I am pretty sure you're all excited to hear what they have or what idea they brought in to shape tomorrow and to help the society that we know are struggling today. So, to location Abel, uh, I would like you to give us an idea about what Graffito is and what you're bringing to the world. Graffito uh, is an upcoming startup company that we intend to uh, develop. So, uh, we are a company which is involved in automated grafting among the solanaceous species of vegetable. So, uh, solanaceous species are like uh, the vegetables that are like uh, potato, tomato, uh, brinjal. And uh, we can also perform this uh, automated solution in cucurbit species. Uh, cucumber is an example uh, which belongs to that class. So, both of you, Trilocation and Abel, right? Uh, are you the only two minds involved in this particular idea? Or are there others as well who contributed to the cause? Yeah, there are other two members. Uh, they are unable to come here. Like uh, one is suffering from. Uh, there, there are two other two members actually. Uh, they are fa like one of my friend is facing some health issues, so he was unable to come here. And other is in other states. So, yeah, they are Ajin J and John G. Uh, Ajin is from uh, chemical engineering department at NIT Calcutt. Uh, he is also belong to our area. So uh, we are from third year. Uh, undergraduate and uh, John is also from third year. He is uh, belonging to the discipline of engineering physics. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure all of us are excited to know what Graffito is, where the nomenclature happened, how you came up with the name, where you got the ideas from, who contributed. But first, uh, I would like you to introduce bo yourself, right? Uh, let's make it interesting. You can tell, talk about him, you can talk about him, and you guys can present to us what Graffito is. Uh, so, uh, I will introduce about the Lokesh. Uh, he is uh, currently third year undergraduate electronics and communication engineering from NIT Calicut. And uh, he is from uh, Andhra Pradesh. Telangana. Yeah. yeah, we have separated few years back. Uh, uh, I'll introduce Abel now. Abel, Abel, his full name is Abel C. Dixon. He is from engineering physics department uh, studying in NIT Calicut. And he's a very interesting guy. I have found him at uh, a seminar hall. The name of our company is Graffito. The name of our company itself sell, uh, tells what it is. It's grafting plus auto. So we have just made it Graffito. And so we are the team members, uh, Abel, Trilo myself, Trilokesh, Ajin and John. And we have went to KVK Trishur. This was uh, during the, there we have found that uh, the grafting is done manually by the actually the researchers working there so it's a skilled like, like graf, grafting requires skilled labor and there are if normal like we can do but uh, the like the probability of success will be less so it requires skilled labor they have to uh, carefully see that the cambium layers are attached so here is a manual process being shown here uh, so uh, this is actually the cyan part. Uh, a cyan of a plant is called the upper part. Uh, it will be around about 15 centimeter above the plant. So uh, we'll make a slant cut. Uh, usually you might have seen the slant cut where uh, it's made, made and we, we shape using a blade. And uh, there are other types of uh, graph techniques like uh, splice where a slant cut is made 45 degree. And we will join uh, with the root stock. A root stock of the plant is called uh, it is uh, below the uh, 15 centimeter as I told. Like it will be from the root. So uh, uh, you can actually graph either the same species of plant. Like you can graph brinjal or brinjal, or you can uh, do it differently. Like brinjal on tomato, uh, tomato or uh, uh, brinjal or tomato. So in that case, we will get tomato at the uh, 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 tomato at the to uh, in the same and brinjal also in the same plant. So uh, they they have to be. Uh, done in a uh, separate branch so that one branch will be having uh, tomato and other branch will be having potato. Here we can see 
uh, like there is a uh, two brinjal plants are being grafted together so that they can improve their immunity and also give a, a good quality fruit uh, there is one the scion is called shivam shivan and the root stock is called harita so these are grafted together and uh, here the uh, here the researchers are actually like they uh, they have cut it in the v shape of both the plants and they are combining the cambium layers and they'll clip it so that's what uh, and they do and then they take it to a mist chamber so this putting them in mist chamber increases the probability of success to 90 percent so, so this graph has to has to fix so that uh, we both shall identify uh, each other like uh, they are the same plant so uh, so uh, on our visit to kvk thrissur only two lakh grafted plants are produced every year and that is only done by just two labors and from their information they are the only government uh, institute who is doing grafting manually so uh, these are the information that we have collected from mr vinisha s uh, who is uh, assistant professor at uh, ku thrissur so with our uh, vision our vision is to increase the uh, yield of uh, every plant uh, vegetable plant by 50 percentage and through the method of grafting uh, we uh, we can claim that we can double the farmers income uh, either using the multiple crops that are produced on the same plant uh, or by increasing the bacterial wilt resistance and uh, protection from other uh, stresses from the environment so here is one example you can see it is an actual uh, research uh, uh, from the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University where they uh, produce the tomato and brinjal in the same plant. So, yeah. okay. so as we know uh, the prices are increasing because like most of the people are now are uh, going towards industrial sector and service sector and so we have to produce more yield from the same land. So we feel that grafto will increase the yield from a plant and which is profitable to farmer and the society. Now that we've talked so much uh, with regards to what Graffito really is, I'm sure everybody's got a lot of questions now, right? Uh, so let's uh, move to a question answer session, right? Okay, can we do that? Uh, so let's go for question one. Who would like question one? Hi guys, have you gone to implement this idea? As we said, we are still in ideation, ideation stage. Uh, we are actually taking it to as our major project and we will be having a mechanical professor as our guide so first we will be uh, like we actually had an idea which is completely changed after brainstorming session so we will be having few more brainstorming sessions then we will uh, do the solidworks model and we will try, try to uh, like fabricate it so after fabrication the testing will go on in the kvk thrissur like th that is uh, we, we saw the manual grafting is done there so we take their plants and autonomously graft their plants if it is successful then we will uh, like do it in a large scale that is all i have a question for you guys after getting one lakh what's your next plan so currently we are uh, entering into our fourth year so we have one year to experiment with our uh, idea so we are also intending to do this as our major project so uh, once we will uh, complete our major project that will come as a product so that we can uh, easily launch it to the market so uh, we expect our uh, uh, minimum viable mechanism or prototype by six month or eight month and uh, then we will experiment with the agricultural universities especially uh, kvk thrissur where we have actually collected the feed information and uh, once it is viable we'll be expanding into other kvks and later uh, we will be uh, main focus will be on the uh, kerala side well, we all know that inflation is imminent and it's gonna happen in the coming next uh, two three months so how can you make it a great success we think that uh, the in inflation can be 
uh, like we can meet the current market demands and also as the farmers grow about grafting and we optimize the grafting techniques more farmers will be using the grafting so definitely we think a uh, grafting will help in increasing the overall yield of our nation and meet the current demand hi guys i'm i'm not sure if you have already gotten this question uh, but uh, exactly what is the current substitute for this in the market is there a current substitute for this in the market so the manual grafting is uh, only the current substitute as i mentioned at kvk thrissur this uh, there there can be a, uh, there are private institution who does this uh, manual grafting process and they directly sell it to farmers and there are also machines that are currently available but there is no an indian manufacturer who does this process so they have to import this from other countries uh, we have the competitors from the netherlands ireland uh, uh, indonesia or uh, korea so uh, those are the com uh, companies uh, called helper robotics and all are providing grafting solutions but uh, their machines are uh, uh, pretty expensive from 13 lakhs and it can go up to 27 lakhs and also they doesn't have an service support in which uh, uh, even though they can uh, give an pri primary operation uh, on the methods how doing this grafting uh, when we contacted some dealers uh, who is directly selling this product they are telling that they are, they will simply buy this but they won't use it for a long time so it is uh, the proper support is not provided at the end even though uh, uh, the kvk uh, at some other university has bought this but they are not uh, they are using it only at a very little pace um so uh, like uh, one my one doubt like i'm not uh, i just want a clear picture on this like exactly what is grafting can you tell us exactly what is grafting why would farmers use grafting instead of just taking hybrid seeds because that's what something i thought why why not just buy hybrid seeds and use that so what is grafting and exactly why would farmers be using uh, grafting instead of using hybrid seeds uh, grafting is like mixing two best properties of a two different plants like for example if i take one plant it might be having a good fruit like uh, the the amount the color and the like the good quality fruit is available with one plant whereas it doesn't have enough uh, resistance towards diseases and there is other plant which have which is having good resistance to the uh, diseases but it is not having the quality fruit so we are mixing these two properties uh, by grafting so that's how uh, like uh, we first take a uh, root stock and we cut the scion part scion part is the top part uh, like this can be done in different methods uh, like the, it is done in split method and v shape cut is also fine and so first normally like we'll cut the if in v shape we'll cut it uh, in a some inclined angle and we do the same with the other plant that is uh, we collect scion from the other plant so so we take a v shape part of this thing and uh, v shape v shape part of the root and we combine and clip together while combining the cambium layer should be attached properly so that uh like after 15 days like uh, since the root stock will start pumping the food and water to the uh, top root stock sorry scion so that is actually done manually so we want to automate it so uh, if you are using the seed uh, hybrid seed type uh, it it doesn't it will take time to grow from uh, their initial stages so here uh, once the plant is grown it, it will actually take around one month and uh, one month for the uh, cyan uh, root stock part and 15 days for the uh, uh, cyan part so they can reduce our time so most farmers will pr prefer only using saplings the, they are also using the seed pink part but uh, if you are doing grafting we can do a, a grafting again once uh, it is grafted apart from this uh, as i told like we can grow multiple uh, crops on the same plant itself but farmers doesn't uh, of this process because uh, they have uh, they have to buy this grafted plant a lot so they they would prefer uh, doing only one crop at a uh, time and uh, most farmers are uh, much aware of this uh, uh, graft uh, multiple crop techniques because they it is not doing in a wide scale but still at an uh, agricultural university level only they are experimenting No, but uh, my doubt is, wouldn't it be cheaper to buy the seeds for the farmer? Will it be cheaper to buy the seed, or will automation bring down the price of the graft plant in such a way that it will be economical to buy this than the seed? So I'm assuming if cheaper, if, if 
I'm assuming that if seed is cheaper, then farmers will prefer the hybrid seed or the genetically modified crop or whatever. They'll be preferring that compared to the graft. But do you think that automation will reduce the cost of the uh, hybrid, uh, sorry, the grafted plant, thereby making it more uh, incentivizing the purchase of that plant? Yeah, current uh, graft per uh, plant price is th three rupees. Okay. So, uh, so our cap upper cap will be three rupees, and it will reduce from uh, three rupees in graft. Actually, there is a high demand. Uh, like we had heard it from the KVK Trishur, uh, they grow only like uh, they make only two lakh planted, and all the two lakhs are being sold. And since the grafting plants are already uh, having some age, around one month, so this will give a uh, time advantage also. So if we are they are growing from seeds, they have to grow, uh, they have to uh, wait for an extra month, which is already being uh, planted and. It's already like there are all grafting plants won't be successful. So here the successful gra grafted plants will be sold. So uh, they are more strong. We can say uh, there will be more resistance to the diseases. So we think uh, farmers will be more interested to buy it. And this is the first time that we are actually uh, supporting an agriculture-based startup, and I'm very excited to see uh, your understanding about it, and also about how innovative uh, this idea is. It's very, very innovative uh, because you know I don't think I've ever heard of something like this. It's a very niche, very small niche, and I'm uh, I'm extremely positive that uh, you guys will be a billion-dollar company very soon. So thank you. So I have one last question for you guys. Uh, my mom is a botanist, and she would be super proud of your project. Okay, uh, but. So uh, I'm just wondering, grafting is a is, is kind of a complicated pro process because a lot of things can go wrong, right? Uh, multiple flowers in the same plant means one flower dies, everything dies. So I guess it needs skilled labor. Yes. Right. And uh, can you tell me how you're planning to Im implement the training uh, for that skilled labor? Uh, yeah, we will implement it through. So uh, like we, we will use different cameras at different angles to make sure that the alignment is correct hmm. uh, it's like we didn't test it yet like we have to use my like we will use many cameras and maybe the idea of camera will also change later so robotics yeah through robotics okay all right wow uh, so brilliant so i wish you all the best uh, I, I i can see a lot of wonderful things in the short run so all the best guys i hope this reaches where your goals are your ambitions are. and like you said brainstorming will bring in a lot of innovations and ideas to better the already amazing uh, graffito uh, startup idea that you've come about so uh, all the best and i would like to invite joseph our ceo uh, to present you with the rupees 1 lakh scholarship for this amazing amazing idea that you've brought into light so joseph can we have uh, on stage yeah. Now that I've told you guys about me, uh, let's get to know a little bit about you guys. Uh, so I know uh, Abel and Trilokesh, right? So let's start with Abel. Abel, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So myself, Abel Sirikson, I am coming from Trishur, Kerala. So I am currently a third year undergraduate at National Institute of Technology, Calicut. So I am from the expertise of engineering and physics. So uh, me with my team is getting into a venture called Gapto, which helps in uh, farmers on grafting of the vegetables uh, so my passion is in, in robotics so uh, with the help of robotics i would like to give back to the community uh, especially in the root level of the society which is agriculture and they're on uh, taking uh, upscaling them in the areas of farming well i have a lot of questions for you Abel, but before that Trilokesh, i would like to get to know you so can you tell us more about yourself Yes, uh, I'm from NAD Calicut, third year, BTEC third year. I'm studying electronics and communication engineering. Actually, I'm from uh, Telangana uh, and I'm, I'm passionate about robotics and I have joined a uh, robotics interested group in the first year, in the second year actually. And there I started to learn many things and I wanted to contribute my learnings to the society and 
and as and as I feel like startup is a more uh, learning and also we get to know different people and uh, we we can co contribute more through a startup. So, so you guys uh, both of, both of you are from NIT, uh, but not the same year. We are we're we're the same year, yes. but not the same brands then. Not, yeah. the not the same brands, right? Uh, interesting. Can you tell me how? Uh, I I guess you joined a group, a robotics group. Yeah. Do you have some kind of a club at college? Yeah, yes. Okay. You have some kind of a club at college, and you joined a robotics group. Yes. Okay. So did you were you two best friends back then? Did you guys know each other back then? Okay. Or did you did you did you uh, get became did you did you guys become friends once you joined the group? How how did how did it happen? Yeah, actually, uh, NIT uh, in ge NIT Calicut in general has very open culture because mm. most of the branch students live in the same uh, hostel itself. So uh, there is no barriers in between branches uh, when it comes to organizing the event. There are many events that being organized like technical events like Tattwa and uh, cultural events like Ragam. So uh, there is an openness and most uh, students have an open minded towards each other mm. in uh, in building their uh, part or career interest there. Okay, can I ask something uh, very curious? Uh, okay, you told me about yourself. You told me about yourself. Can you tell me a bit about him? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I have met him in a uh, event. Like, uh, like he was everywhere. Like, he will he'll be participating in most of the events related mm -hmm. to startup technical uh, technical things. Uh, like, he was very interest interested in, uh, about learning things. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, we came to know about each other through an event, and then we met again in a. Uh, uh, like in the in our inductions to the club hmm. so after be, being selected we are almost very close like we, we have to meet all for a week at least once we will be meeting so. okay all right nice Abel my question to you what is the one thing you don't like about him so one thing uh, I, I don't like about him is that uh, I feel he's much faster le learner than me so, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> okay so you're telling he's, uh, he's, he's a quick learner than you. Well, you're also a quick learner. Yeah. But he's quicker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, guys, good, good. Uh, but I can see that charisma uh, between the both of you, right? Uh, they, they've got a lot of charisma between the both of you. So, two minds met. Can you tell me how your ideas combined? So, uh, actually, uh, our ideas actually evolved from a uh, program called uh, Eanthro Innovation Program. So, uh -huh. they're also uh, they are empower empowering the uh, farming ecosystem. Uh, so uh, there also we were uh, given a lot of problem statement. Uh, so uh, it still uh, they are still uh, uh, coming to they they doesn't solve very road problems. Even though uh, it's above uh, and one step level uh, in the in terms of agriculture. So the road problem uh, is about increasing the productivity of the uh, uh, vegetables itself and uh, the current market price of these vegetables are going up. So. Mm. We try to find an interesting solution in that level and uh, it is where the grafting also we found. So it came through, uh, even though we are uh, in a virtual meetings during the starting time, uh, we brainstormed the idea through these uh, online platforms itself. So. We have met the real, like, uh, like our friends hmm. uh, who has farmer background. So we have contacted them, we have found the solution problems and we found that this is a... So you basically took a survey among your community itself? Yes. Right? Uh, did your parents help? Mm, yeah, my my parents are also from uh, farm. the farming background. So, so I think you got a lot of ideas from there yes. as well, right? Okay, interesting. What is the name of uh, your uh, startup? Uh, your idea? What, what, have you given it a name? Yeah, we have given Graphito. Uh, Graphiton. Yeah. Graphiton. Graphito. 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 Yeah. T O. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me how that uh, came into nomenclature? How 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 did you guys do it? Uh, so who so thought of it? Whose idea was it? Yeah, it was Trilokesh uh, idea. Trilokesh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, fine, uh, but can you tell me how you thought about it? How uh, you come about Graphito? Like, what does Graphito have to do with agriculture? Yeah, like uh, you can see auto, like normally PO mm -hmm. and grafting. Oh, 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 okay, I get it now, so right. I just mixed that. You just combined it together. Okay, Graphito. So GRA? FITO, right? Okay, all right. So, uh, can you tell me about the challenges that you faced? What was the biggest challenge that you faced? The biggest challenge is clipping. Like we are still struggling for finding the clipping mechanism. Hmm. Uh, like 
we want to make it uh, autonomous so hmm. this clipping mechanism is, uh, is abstracting us this is where we are we have to uh, more brainstorm to make it fully autonomous otherwise generally uh, we can we can make a other person uh, put there but that we don't want to do so i see okay all right triloki shable uh, i can't help but wonder that i mean of course it is possible i am not uh, <laughs> no offense but are there other helping hands who were involved uh, in your idea coming into life uh, the tba technical incubation center of nit calicut is helping us uh, they support us like uh, preeti ma'am we contacted preeti ma'am and she uh, like she told about many places where we can get mentorship and support from they are guiding us and also uh, if in next coming months they mm. might provide some ug innovation fund and okay that's nice are there any other people involved in this is it just the two of you and no like no. i i heard preeti ma'am i heard some other names but are there others involved yeah actually yeah. there are organization uh, there is one organization iyatra so uh, so it's 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 through those uh, those organization that we have ideated uh, this uh, this idea and and we have other team members like uh, ajin jay he is from uh, is from uh, chemical engineering and it calicut and we have uh, the uh, jo- uh, devaya jo he is also from uh, engineering physics and it calicut and uh, as a uh, as a uh, working area uh, our uh, college is providing support in terms of the uh, robotics lab uh, where we will be developing our product okay that's nice hmm uh, was it fun doing this how 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 much time did it take sleepless nights I see. Uh, sleepless nights were well, like I'm going to be coming. Actually. <laughs> actually, going to come, right? Yeah. So yes, yes, of course, that's very true, right? It, it is. It's on the way. So, uh, how are you planning to implement this on large scale? Uh, well, like we are still in ideation stage, uh, stage actually. Huh. First, we we are actually thinking of taking it as our major project. So no other project we don't want to. Uh, so this started as your mini project? No. no this is this is started as it. like everyone has to do a major project in their fourth year right and we don't want to put an other project uh, along with this mm. so we are taking this taking this up a step further yeah and luckily so, our college mm-hmm. uh, luckily our college has introduced interbranch project from this year so since we are from different branch we can we are now able to do the project as to be yeah that's really nice okay uh, so we were talking about sleepless nights uh i'm sure uh, those nights uh, are you know just around the corner but uh, i'm sure it's going to be uh, an ecstatic environment right uh, no doubt about it but something i want to ask you uh, before we for proceed any further this inflation is about to hit the whole world in the next 2 3 months time i i'm sure you you are aware of it yes. how do you think this idea is going to play in such a time of who knows what will happen yeah as we know like population is growing and mm. uh, like many people are moving towards industrial sector and service sector right uh, many people uh, like uh, agriculture we need to get more yield from the same agricultural land now so we, as these other things are increasing mm. Mm. so we feel uh, grafting will give a uh, more yield so that increases the uh, that dec- increases the meets the uh, demand of the current society or the coming coming years so yeah one interesting thing that is not uh, much taken in the agriculture sector is that uh, you can actually uh, plant uh, multiple cro- uh, can get multiple crops in the same plant for example you can True. get brinjal and to- uh, potato or brinjal and tomato in the same plant hmm. so it's like a double income opportunity for a farmer as well as a double yield with the same uh, literally like the same resource that you usually provide for a plant so uh, we don't need an additional field for uh, growing this multiple crop yeah. that can be a good thing and a bad thing do you not think so uh, as a uh, grafting uh, as a process it, it's time consuming because hmm. there is like a lot of labor in, involved if you are uh, doing an very mass production so that will actually increase the labor cost if you if you are inculcating in a manual way so But, if the brinjal dies the other fruit also dies with it yeah true yeah 
yes so is that not a bad thing uh, that like actually grafting is also done for the same species like hmm. a brinjal and brinjal the thing is the brinjal in the root hmm. is having more strength and it can uh, it can protect itself from di- different diseases that's the thing yeah right 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 and also the major thing is like grafting requires skill labor hmm the every graft may or may not be successful mm mm-hmm. so and it's a time consuming process as right yeah. right right so after the post processing of grafting also we have to treat it under two weeks in a uh, uh, conditional environment right 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 and then only we can tell if it is successful grafting so mm. uh, those operations uh, are bit Uh, but i think this is going to go a long way in terms of uh, how people see uh, agriculture yeah. right a uh, f- few years ago we never thought about organic farming now everybody is interested in it this is something even more innovative so amazing really this idea uh, what did your parents have to say about it they have did they all support you yeah they support us uh, yeah they hmm. give like when we ask about the problems they are happy like we are uh, contributing to society so and they always support us okay able what about you what are your parents up to say yes yes actually since i was uh, from thrissur uh, and we actually had to uh, do an uh, actual field visit to validate our idea so uh, they had a prior experience with visiting the kerala agricultural university of thrissur so once i told like mm, we have to meet them they were very excited to take me there and even uh, after meeting there also uh, there was a assistant professor who uh, helped us in giving the actual uh, uh, way of doing grafting they actually showed them uh, how it is actually done so uh, my father uh, uh, had uh, had a previous visit that has actually helped in uh, contacting those uh, p- uh, professors uh, right 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 okay uh, amazing guys so i think uh, you know uh, the idea that you have come up with is going to help a lot of people we just don't know when but it will surely yes. right so i wish you guys all the best and uh, i i i i i can't uh, express how happy i am that uh, you are doing something for the society right that's that's what we all should look at so uh, thank you so much uh, guys and all the best yeah thank you, thank you.